as a local authority moderator, I go to lots of different schools in Oxfordshire and it's incredibly valuable to be able to see the standard of writing across one age group. Um, and it's a, it's a quality assurance process for them, but it's actually very valuable for me in terms of being a teacher, being able to see the different standards of writing and how they vary from school to school, um, despite all apparently being the same standard. When you go into a kind of traditional moderating environment, um, one moderator, so me or somebody else from the local authority, would see only a small sample of children's work. So in a cohort of 60, you might only see eight or nine children's work, whereas um, this tool allows you to see every single child's work. And you can go through lots and lots of pieces of writing and see the standard of writing that you're teaching against those in other schools, which is extremely valuable. And it gives a kind of more general baseline for writing across the county. With the um, software, you can give every teacher the opportunity to be able to do that. So um, you very easily have work from children in other schools, even other classes within your school. It's been really helpful to see how different teachers have assessed our children's work, but also the whole range of children who are participating in the programme. And as a student teacher, I found that really helpful to see where my judgment kind of fits in relation to other professionals. So it's been really good kind of to moderate children's work in that way. And then the programme actually gives an output and you can see where all of the teachers are ranked and how valid um, their assessment has been. So when I, then I've been able to look at my judgment and see whether I was way out compared to other professionals or really actually quite close to their judgment. So that's been really helpful as a, as a new um, teacher, as a trainee. One of the things that's really beneficial about it is that in order to be able to have that kind of breadth of knowledge from teachers all across lots of different schools, bringing them together can be quite difficult. It's also um, a more pressure for those teachers who I think are seeing their own work held up against other people's work in a kind of group environment um, and getting and organising that can be quite difficult. Um, whereas with um, this software, a huge amount of teachers are able to see it um, and they're able to kind of make their own judgments in their own time about um, the work that they're seeing. So um, in that sense, it can be really helpful. So I found the system of making my own assessments really user friendly. It was much less time consuming than bringing all of my books to another school, for example, and looking at them one at a time. Because it took less time, I took more time in really making sure my assessments were what I truly felt were correct. Um, I found it really helpful that I could um, go away and come back to it at another time. Um, and it started from where I left off. Um, and I found the whole process really easy to use. I think um, obviously the process of moderation um, is designed to quality assure against things like bias in um, the kind of traditional assessment setting. With this, there there wouldn't be any need for that kind of quality assurance because it it's in itself that's what it does. It it quality assures the judgments you're making by putting them against the judgments of however many other teachers. So it, in that sense, it takes away the um, any conscious or unconscious kind of bias because you technically don't know that it's your children's work up on the screen. It might be somebody else's. Um, it might be another teacher in your school. It might be a teacher in a different school. And also there isn't that need for kind of that moderation process because that's essentially what it is in itself. The anonymous nature of the project means that it's much more objective. So when we bring our children's work to moderation, we'll have the whole history of that child, we'll know where they've come from, and so will the other teachers involved in the project. But looking at it cold as, as such, you get to actually think about what are the features of the writing, and it allows you to think with a much clearer mind, I suppose, uh, about just the writing rather than the whole backstory of the, of the child involved. What I found most interesting is kind of looking at either end of the spectrum. So um, when children from my class or this year, this school sat kind of towards the top of the top range, what about that piece of work did other people obviously think was better than, say, other pieces of work? And that was really helpful for me because it really informed then my teaching and the way that I then planned the next scheme of work that we did. 
My experience as an English lead and our experience as a school of comparative judgment has been really positive. Um, it's allowed us to think really carefully about where our children are and especially important for me, it's allowed me to think strategically about the coming years and where we go with our English curriculum and also where we go in terms of our assessment as a school.